Get, leave the eggs. She's gonna come get them. Okay. Bye. Bye. Adelaide, be careful. I love you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bye. That. I almost fell. Don't fall. That's too close. It's 55 degrees, partly cloudy, and a brisk southwesterly wind. It's day 96. What are we doing today, babe? Well, today, hurricane straps. Yes, we cannot forget hurricane straps on this back wall. Hurricane straps are going in on this wall only where the roof will go over. So just where the chicken coop is, that width, we'll make sure we put about a, eight feet. A good amount of hurricane strips in that eight foot section. Mm -hmm. uh, get them tied up, and then we are laying the bag. That's it. That's all we're doing. We're going to try to get a full course done. Yeah. It's just us today. So, what do you mean it's just us? I mean, we don't have any extra help. Oh, that's right. We had a bunch of extra help. That's true. Um, do we want to take a quick second and just explain for people who may want to know what the hurricane straps are and why we put them in? Go for it. Okay. So, in order to uh, tie our roof structure onto the earth bag structure, the easiest way to do that is to put in this strapping that is rated for really high shear and tear strength and it's going to go over the roof beam right when we put in the is that what you call it the beam, beam. yeah so we're going to have beams on the back wall the middle wall and the front wall and so on each of those we'll have the straps that go over you, they get ratcheted down and it uses the weight of the bags on top of those straps to hold the whole thing together because hey winds now this we get them. This is not the only thing that is holding that roof to the bag. The beam is also secured to the bag using pleats, and we will be using hurricane ties. Right on when you connect the rafters to the yes. beams and all. We'll still do that. This but, is just extra. But this holds that whole structure down. down. It attaches it and makes it all like one big thing. So. Did we say we're using the weight of the bags? Uh -huh. Okay. I did. Okay. I said that. I wasn't yes. listening. Okay. But good job. Enough of that. Are you ready? Yes. Let's get set. Go. Time to lay the bags. Get up on your feet, this is a shakedown. Order up that beat just like a takeout. Show me you got soul inside those new shoes. And you can rock and roll. So good, so fresh, just the way you like it. Just the way you like it. So good, so fresh. Y'all the new MC, you got the remix. Keep it on repeat, just let the
on Makeup Monday, we're making smoothie bowls. With the temperatures rising outside, it is time that we bring out smoothie bowls again. We just use a variety of mixed frozen berries like blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries. But the key is frozen bananas. This is what's going to keep your smoothie bowl thick. We also add pineapple and freshly squeezed orange juice and even some orange juice that's frozen into ice cubes. You got me dropping. Me, I'm so smart. You are so smart. Thank you. We made a mistake. We're supposed to put in the actual blender part first. So now I <laughs> have to dump it out. Where, where's a big container? So yeah, maybe make sure your blade is in the blender before you start this process and that will make everything go a little bit more smoothly. Everybody gets to pick their own toppings for their smoothie bowl, fresh fruit, seeds, nuts, peanut butter, and maybe even some granola. This is something that everybody loves, even <laughs> Nine Nine. Do you want a smoothie? Do you need a smoothie bowl? <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. You could have peanut butter in here. You could have peanut butter. walls done by day 100. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you think we can do it? I don't know. Because we have to go all the way around. We may have to have friends over if we're going to try that. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure. But that would be a really good, like, we got all the walls done in 100 days. Well, maybe just for today, we should focus on what we're trying to do right now. Gotta get over the straps and pass that seam. That's all we're doing today.
so long? Waiting on dirt. Who's taking so long? Pile up. We got a pile up. We need two more people, baby. One more dog. One more puppy. Please. Hello. I'm surprised we haven't. Have we pulled that out before? Yeah. I feel like we have. I'm sure. As many videos as we do, I'm sure we've made that pun before. Guys, guess what? We only have about 20 more feet left on this course to get all the bags up to lintel level. And then it's lintel time. Yeah, we still are kind of back and forth on lintels. We were going to use our 6x6 posts that we used for our shade sale project. But that seems like overkill, especially when there's going to be one like, course maybe two over top of those openings i was ho i was shooting for two courses but by the time you get lentils and yeah. then two more courses you're looking at for 12 inches like another, another foot. foot which is kind of getting us up almost too high i think it'll be okay but we'll see we're gonna do for sure one bag over all the lentils and then we'll reassess when we get to yeah. that point we may just look for possible ways to make the lentils not as big like yeah because there's not a ton four of weight. inches instead of two inches yeah yeah there's not going to be a ton of weight but we do need we do need something to keep the weight off of for, it, sure. for sure but what, so what's the most what's the smallest lentil we can make that's the question i bet we could do two by fours that are together but then at that point why don't we just You're do three and a half anyway yeah so why not do a four <laughs> by six i don't know Anyway, we will figure this out. We won't bother you with all the drama of us trying to figure it out here on camera. Okay. Tomorrow, nesting box. Well, first, we got to finish this bag, right? Yes. Then, can we put together my nesting box and, like, get that all situated? Because that's going to be a little bit of an ordeal. Yeah, that would be good. I'm I not going to, like, tell everybody what's going on. But let's just say the nesting box is getting a whole new makeover. Yeah, it's getting an extreme makeover. Coop edition. I was hoping you would say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's all. That's, that's all. That's, that's it? it? That's, that's it for it? today. That's all? Yeah. Okay. We have some places we need to go. Some things we need to do. Some people and we need to see. Yeah. So I guess we'll see y'all tomorrow. It's always so awkward at the end. Like, what do you do? Do we just make out? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it sweet Here's a line I heard somewhere I feel the ground under your feet It can take you anywhere Chasing shadows with you Let's get broken then repay Times of anger, feeling hope Find that light under the door Build a bridge right to the shore All that could have been dark and would have been walks Ain't never done much for help Get on your feet and run My 
much temper, too much bittersweet. 